Alright, this is a weekly reading for Taurus. Uh, let's see. The two songs I have for you this week is Fault, The Conductor, and the 1975 Love It, If You, If We Made It. So, Love It If We Made It. Um, fun songs. <laughs> I channeled way too many songs, so I'm like exhausted now. I'm just like... But anyway, I do have channeled messages at the end of this, so we'll see if that resonates for anybody. And also, we have the reading to go through, so let's get into that. Okay, so your week as a whole is going to be the King of Swords. The King of Swords is the power of life and death. The King mitigates the access to the Queen. So there's, there's going to be a bit of... Uh, A very close call, I would say. So it could have been like a car accident. It could be some almost going over the edge. It could be having too many things to drink. You know, stuff like that. There, There's something that needs to be mitigated. Or something that needs to kind of be regulated, I would say. Um... So the, there's somebody that's trying to help you out, and I I feel like you can either take their help or not, and that might be a little bit a little bit too forceful for some people. Some people might get triggered in the comments, but yeah, as a like I would be worried about your addictions right now, and your maybe your points of control. Maybe some of your boundaries, you know, are a little looser than others, and then there's others that are kind of really, like, tight, you know, t trigger warnings that are probably trivial. So, it's, it, it's one or the other. And I feel like it's really playing with, like, how, like, you feel about your, you know, your current situation. So... There's going to be you know, maybe a fight, but I feel like there's other stuff that might be going on that you might need to see a therapist about, and I feel like you might have moments where you feel, like, really depressed and then really happy. So just, <laughs> just talk to a, a therapist, because I feel like you might be going through a lot and not be able to differentiate between stress and happy situations, which could be a problem if it's not looked at soon, okay? So, number two, something that's unexpected that will arise. We have the sun. So, unhappiness, boredom, loneliness, possibly a broken relationship, obtainment of a goal, and a delay uncertain future so again like I said there's going to be a fight here because this person was trying to help you out and you might have blew them off or you might have said some things that were kind of a little bit harsh okay so that's kind of what's going on or you could have recently had a breakup because of you know certain other things but I feel like your tongue is very sharp this week because of your own things that are going on in your personal life. So just watch out for that. You don't want to get fired from your job or anything. Okay. So we have number three, how to stay grounded and balanced. We have the six of pentacles in reverse. So envy, jealousy, an illusion of generosity, bad debts, um, unpaid loans, overwhelming greed. So this could be, um, like, you're kind of getting into hoarding behavior. Um, usually people, when they're hurt, they uh, tend to collect a lot of things. So, yeah. I have depression, so I collect a lot of little things. I like miniatures. But, um, yeah, you could be getting into some hoarding behavior. Maybe you like certain types of things or certain types of foods or, you know, just certain things that would ease your pain. As they say, it's more of a, uh, the souffle rising type of thing. It's, it's how long it could go on without it becoming a major issue. 
So that could be going on for you right now. And um, you might be accumulating a lot of things in order to cover up your own insecurities and stuff like that. And you might be going into debt for it, you know. You might actually have loved this person, but you said the wrong thing. And maybe it's too late to uh, apologize. So you might actually think about apologizing, whether they take your apology or not. Because it's not going to do well for you to be in a uh, situation where it kind of lingers in the back of your mind. You know, what if I apologize or whatever you need to do that right away you know if you care about somebody there's points of your own arguments where you don't cross and I feel like a lot of people cross them because they're hurt so they're like I'm gonna hurt you too so there's there's things in a relationship that are kind of deal breakers and that could have been a deal breaker for your person so you know you have to be more delicate than that Number four, important emotion you will feel this week. We have the Page of Swords. So seeing beyond the surface, a spy, vigilance, respect for authority, a person who will complete a task regardless of danger, insight, and uh, deception. So there's a... Uh, so this person could have moved on ver fairly quickly. And you might actually be a little bit insecure about it. And it might be that... Like, you got into a fight, they tried to help you out, and then, like, they moved on. Like, within a couple of days, and you're kind of wondering if they've always been with this person, or if it was, like, something else. But I feel like it might be, like, a friend of yours, so you're kind of, like... You know, you don't know really what to do. And it, it's probably not a relationship. I feel like they're talking to your friend to find out what you're going through. And you might be misinterpreting it. So there's there's a, you know, there, there's a lot to unpack here. I feel like there's a lot of baggage on your side and on their side. So there's, you want to find out where where your head's at. They're talking to your best friends and people that are close to you, and it, it might feel like there's a bit of sabotage here, um, personally, um, so <laughs> you're, you're kind of trying to figure everything out, but I feel like your person that you broke up with, or that's kind of not speaking to you right now, is angry, but they kind of want to see where you're coming from, because how you blow up is a lot of, you know, being either pressured or being on defense a lot. So it, it really doesn't happen within like a couple seconds. It's you had to have had some type of, you know, stimulus or defense system already up in order to blow up on your partner like that, I feel. So um, that's probably why they're talking to everybody that you know, okay? So... Number five, something that will inspire you, we have the Six of Wands. So, great triumph of victory, good news with far-reaching ramifications, um, expectation rewarded, and hope. So, there's hope here, and I feel like you're going to have to apologize if this person does come back, because you're going to have a long conversation about everything that's happened thus far and uh you know it's it's gonna take a while I feel and I I feel like talking is gonna heal a lot of misunderstandings in your relationship I feel like you might not talk as much as like other couples do or you might kind of feel like this relationship can be on autopilot a couple days and it might not be able to and uh, especially with everything happening, like it's an emotional roller coaster for you right now. So it's better to talk to your partner every day about what's going on, even if you think that they're not gonna be like receptive to what like you're talking about. Even if it's small details that they don't understand right now, if anything should happen, they'll know that it's kind of because of a situation. All right, so. 
Number six, how your spirit guides will speak to you this week. We have the Two of Swords. The Two of Swords is treachery and lies, mind out of balance, false friends, uh, a bad business dealing, delinquency, and disloyalty. So there's, uh, since your spirit guides are talking directly to you, I feel like you might have done something that was kind of crossing the line. And then you might have gotten all defensive. Because this is very, like, it's on your point. So there's something that went on, maybe you talked to, like, an ex of yours or an old friend of yours, and it was kind of a little bit too friendly, you know, and they, your person might have mistaken it for something else. Also, there might be somebody that has a crush on you, and they become defensive when you're giving attention to other people. Okay, so, there's that. So, just be aware of that, because I feel like there's a lot of um, things going on. If you're single, there's somebody with a crush on you. If you're in a relationship, your partner could get the wrong idea, because you haven't been talking to them, and they're like, oh, something's going on. I wonder who it is. Like, they are suspicious of everybody, alright? So just, you need to let them know that you're alright, or, you know, you're going through some things at work, and, you know, it's crunch time or whatever, you know. <laughs> but, yeah, with, with my job, it's always crunch time. I, I go into the office and I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> you know, it's it's always stress with your job. But, um... I feel like your entire mannerisms have changed towards your partner, okay, or this person, so I want to talk to them. Anyway, number seven, so how to best support yourself this week? We have the King of Wands. So honest and true, unable to understand bad motives, fatherly and kind, uh, yet... Sometimes quick to anger, educated, and sympathetic. Often a man with close family. So, this could be your partner, okay? And they're worried about you, and they're worried about just you in general. Like, yeah. I feel like you were, like, bright and shiny, or you, you're kind of sadistic. And they miss that. They're like, oh, you were so nice and sweet. And then, like, you got, like, sadistic. And then you didn't want to talk to me. And, like, I was worried about you. Like, you know, um, I miss our talks or whatever, you know. But just talk to this person. I feel like they'll be more understanding than you give them credit for. So just talk. I, I feel like that's much needed. You might want to take them out to lunch or something. But, um... Yeah, they, they need a verification that you're right, because I feel like they're worrying about you more than they should, okay? So, our channeled messages for the week is knowing what your strengths are, an investigator, and success in leadership roles. So, again, you might have had a change in your job description, and it might be weighing on your personality a little bit, which does happen. But I feel like it totally changed with you and this person, the energies that be. So you're going to have to chat with them so that they know that you're still, you know, 100% yourself and all this. Okay? Anyway, Taurus, hopefully this helps you out in some way, shape, or form. Make sure you talk to your friends that you've always talked to and... You know, you kind of let them know what's going on if you're going through a stressful situation or what have you. And you might not be chatting with them too much because you need to focus on work or you need to, you know, kind of uh, go into bed a little bit earlier um, because you're exhausted by the end of the day, you know, that type of thing. It's, it's basic self-care, but it will help a lot if people kind of know your situation and what's, what's going on, okay? Anyway, Taurus, I will see you in the next reading, alright? Have a good week, alright? Later.